Hey, I'm doing an unboxing video for the Monoprice Maker Select Mini. Uh, this is also the Malyan, Malwin, however you say it, M200. So I'm just gonna, it's already been cut open. I'll actually, I think the easiest is probably to flip it upside down. We'll see. So it is just a start from a brick. filament um, I actually bought this printer with a friend of mine we got it from mono price on sale it's 20% off so if you look they actually have a lot of good sales they use like 10 15 percent off or free shipping or something like that so this is 20% off it was great would have put it at $160 after shipping is 175 so that's excellent price for this printer here it is. It's actually packaged really well. Uh, I knew it would be. A um, friend told me about his when he was taking it out. So I'll go ahead and remove it. This box that I set aside is actually probably a power strip. Power strip. Another box in here. See what this is. This is power cords and USB cords, micro SD, and a little scraper. So we'll set that aside. I don't need the little test filament. I've got, I'll just grab my regular filament. What we're going to do is open the instructions. I included a link below to the instructions that are on Monitor Price's website. They're actually really good. So at the top of the instructions, we see that it says, warning, take care to remove or damage the yellow tape. Now this is just standard, it's just masking tape, as you can see. I'm going to cut these corners right here. Let's remove. Well, uh, and I'm doing this because we're going to have to get to the screw heads in order to, to adjust it. So next we have, ensure the power switch on the rear panel is in the off position. Off position, just like that, that's switched down. And so we will plug the printer in. Get our power source out here. Power source, looks like a power source. Flip the power switch on. Okay, so we've already got, there's the, uh, there's our screen. This menu can be confusing. I thought it was really easy at first, but it's not. So, well, right now I'm in Z. So here, let me go to home and I'll, I'll explain to you what I'm doing. So well, first I'll go to exit and we'll kind of go through. So left and right, obviously that's, you know, moves around. Hit, push the center to select. Now, if you look, I think you can see on the camera, you see the black box that's going around each of those. So if we go into home, We'll go ahead and push home. Home's the X, Y, and Z axes. Now it's homing Z. It's still black. So what that means is we can actually move outside. You know, we can move it right now. So we're moving the black box around. So now if I select the Y axis, I push it in, it turns blue. So I can move the wheel just like that. But how do I get out of that? Well, what I found is if you push it in and hold, it turns black again. If you let go, it's back to blue. So you have to push it in and hold and then rotate it. 
Now, maybe mine's messed up. I don't know. If it is, please, please let me know. Give me a comment or, or whatever. I was thinking it's kind of a debounce thing. So I'll go to a different camera angle and I'll, I'll show you a little bit about X, Y, and Z. I have the Y axis selected. As you, I don't know if you can see it. It's got the blue box around it. So when I go left, the bed will move forward. When I go right, the bed moves backwards. For X axis, you can go 19. So if we're from home, we can go 19 of these movements over. The X axis is the same. X and Y are 19. Um, Z, I did 30 and I only have half of an inch up, but I just say that just, you know, just for your, so you can know, but we will, uh, go ahead and home it real quick and go back to home. For leveling the build plate, you need a piece of paper. This is just regular printer paper and I have the printer. It's on right now, but I already homed it. So once it's homed, you can take and move, you can just move it manually. So move this over. To the front left corner manually slide your paper underneath and you'll want it to, to barely drag it's it's kind of loose right now but we'll go ahead and see what it's like over here it's loose there too so this is a close-up trying to get a close-up at least anyway here's a uh, paper this is kind of what we're doing we're just going underneath the nozzle just like that you can see how it's barely off the bed you can see that so we'll go ahead and Pull this out and tighten it. So we're gonna loosen the screw and we're gonna tighten the gap is what I was meaning. So I'll just do a, you know, like an eighth of a turn. See what see what it's like. A little bit more. And right there it's barely dragging. So let's go ahead and go to the next corner. And that one. Barely dragging up. I'm gonna call that good. And you just do this to all four corners. Um, sometimes it takes going over it twice. Okay, now we will install the SD card. So grab the SD card. Instructions say turn off the printer and put it in a printer on. I'll just try and stick it in there. Should work all right. Got me some white PLA. Um, we need to install this piece. It goes on the side right here. So these little tabs. Just like that. Instruction said use side cutters. Cut an angle. Well, they said use a knife. I use side cutters. You can use a knife or side cutters of your choice. These are great. I got these on Amazon. These are on like nine bucks. I'll include a link below just to, in case you wanted to get them. I use them a lot. Made in USA. So then we will thread this through the top. Go ahead and tilt the printer forward maybe. So you push it through here. Compress this. I'm going to go through the next hole. I don't know if you can see it. Goes into that. I would just go ahead and push it all the way through. You can feel it when it stops. That might be the end. We'll have to see. So that could actually be the end. So we'll go ahead and preheat the printer as the instructions say. In the temperature menu, and we'll preheat the extruder. We select the extruder icon. We select the extruder. 190, you can go and rotate it, change your temperature. We'll be at 190, we'll go ahead and hit it again. As I said, start preheat, so it's going to start preheat. So it's preheated now um, at 190 degrees. I will go to the X axis, sorry, Z axis. Go ahead and raise it.
That's enough. So, I'll go to the extruder. And go ahead and extrude some. So, go to the left. It does. Let's see what's coming out. So, we got it coming out. I'll go ahead and. Let's just try and print again, just see what happens. Print. Do Baymax. I guess they pull off little little pieces like that. Let's see what it does. There we go, we got something. This is a close up. I'm at 0.8 multiple right now. I just wanted to test it. I saw that it was, looked to be deforming a little bit at the top, which means that it needs a little more cooling so I don't know if the fan's powerful enough or if there's enough air pushing out. So I just slowed it down for this section just to kind of see what it would do with surface finish. But I'm impressed. It's actually doing, uh, it's doing pretty good, especially for first print. It's real easy to set up. It was pretty easy to, to get going. Um, I'm pleased, I think, for $200. Holy cow. First printer I bought was a RepRap. Prusa Mendel about three years ago. Um, we paid about 400 to 500 fully for the kit and then had a lot of trouble trying to set it up and get it going because it was our first printer. If this is my first printer, man, that would have been awesome. This is working really good. I definitely, definitely glad, glad it's working out.